It's 620. Let's talk about what's going on in the world of entertainment. Do you know who Jeremy Camp is? You probably should, uh, especially if you're into Christian and gospel music. He has more number one hits than anybody this century in a row, 32 specifically, and now a major motion picture based on his life, specifically the life of his fiance. But I don't want to plot spoil. Just trust me, the movie is moving. I sat down with him to talk about his upgrade in the movie in the form of a Riverdale actor. Take a look. I think the humbling part of it is that there's thousands of stories that people could, of amazing people and why they pick mine, and I think that's why it's so humbling. Did, as you watch the movie, are there points where you made small corrections saying maybe it should happen like this because it really happened like this? I mean, when I say small, I mean, I think there was one time where I was like, hey, and, and one time KJ even asked me, hey, in this scene, because it was a very emotional scene, right. how did you ask this question? And I think that, to me, showed his heart behind it and his passion to get it right, to have even a question with me saying, I want to know exactly how you, how you responded to this. That was huge. Speaking of him, uh, you're a good looking man. Let's go straight to it. You're a good looking man. But at the same time, as you look on the big screen and you're going, well, I got an upgrade. No, I totally do. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm very thankful. Everyone's like, wow, KJ App is playing you. I'm like, thank goodness. You know what I mean? <laughs> that they picked him to play me. So he was incredible. Like, he's become a friend and he's got a pure sweetheart, and I'm very thankful he played me. And he does a nice job. To say the movie's beautiful is an understatement, quite moving. And if you're gonna brave it to the theaters, it probably should be an inspiration-based movie. A am I right, Kirsten? Yes! Right, am I right? Well, yeah, you got another right for me, too. So we need positivity in this world, Mark. Thanks right. for that. 